Yeah, well, he never stopped learning as a coach. And uh, yesterday I was down in Swansea City Football Club, you know, and there was some great parallels there in terms of the environment and the culture that's been set by the coaches. Uh, even some of the technical stuff about uh, you know, how the attack and defenders have used to me. And of course today now uh, uh, at the Broncos, I've really enjoyed my day at the Broncos. The coaches have all been fantastic. I sat in on a on a video session which was very enlightening. And um, again, a lot of parallels again with the culture, the work ethic and the uh, environment in particular I was looking at. And of course some of the technical training uh, was, was most useful. Uh, I've got to say to the fans that they've got nothing to worry about from what I've seen of the, the way the lads are working. There's a great work ethic here and uh, the boys are responding well to what the coaches want. So um, I'm sure the season will go very well from here on in. So yeah, well, of course in rugby union you've got things like scrums and you've got uh, lineouts. And you've got a, a sort of a, a tackle area yeah, which has some similarities to the tackle area in, in, in league. But the big things, of course, that are uh, quite similar are the attack strategies. What happens when the ball comes away from that play the ball or ruck area? Uh, and what happens defensively against those attacks? So obviously we share common philosophies and uh, similar sort of structures and strategies there that uh, you know I'm always keen to to look at and uh, to examine in more detail to see whether there's things that could come from rugby league that we could pick up in rugby union. Because if I'm honest, that's been uh, you know we've raided rugby league uh, quite a bit over the years for our attack and defence philosophy. So uh, you guys have tended to be a little bit ahead of us. I think we've caught up quite a bit now. But um, again, you guys have been professional longer than they have in rugby union. So I think there's uh, there's a lot of historical. Um, but cultural things that are of interest to me as well. Well, first and foremost, the athletes and uh, the fine athletes, and um, you know, the game. Uh, that was called professional rugby union. Um, means that first and foremost, those guys. They're not only going to be skillful, but they've got to be athletic and um, capable of playing at uh, high intensity, high speed uh, for the full 80 minutes. And uh, certainly, there'll be some areas of uh, rugby union where rugby league guys might uh, struggle to adapt. For example, props or um, hookers uh, will be very different um, from from the scrum if you like in rugby league. But um, uh, in, in in broken play and phase play. Uh, there'd be a huge amount of uh, similarities. So some of the outside backs and some of the playmakers could uh, could do very well. I believe you've got uh, your captain Craig who's played rugby union and rugby league. So it just shows uh, that the better players can make that transition quite comfortably. Yeah, no worries. Doing a side step of my own uh, <laughs> just as we finish. But once again, thanks to all the Broncos lads for the warm welcome today and uh, best luck for the season, guys.